Today, we are going to discuss an important event known as the drilling of the bore, as well as a hundred year period referred to as the collapse. First, let's set it up with some high level definitions. The wheel of time is time itself, and the wheel has seven spokes which define the seven different ages. Each age has a pattern. The only known forces outside of the wheel and the pattern are the creator who shaped the wheel, the one power that drives it, and the dark one, who was imprisoned outside the pattern by the creator at the moment of creation. It is believed that if the dark one escapes his prison, he has the ability to remake the wheel and all of creation in his own dark image. Thus, each person, especially each of those born to Viren, must struggle to achieve his or her own best destiny to assure the balance and continuation of the great pattern. So that's the setup. Now let's discuss the drilling of the bore which happened in the second age. The current story takes place in the third age. The third age began around 3000 years ago. Before that was the second age. During the second age, men and women wielded the one power side by side with no fear of any taint on Sidene. At this time, there were no wars. Even the word for war was lost, known only to scholars. All matter of wonders were commonplace. That is why the Second Age is also known as the Age of Legends. During the Age of Legends, no one knew of the Dark One or felt his touch. Well, not until the end of the Age of Legends. There was a great research college called Kolum Don, noted for its blue and silver domes. It was the foremost center for research and development. A great white sphere named the Sharom floated above the college. One of the scientists there was a man named Bidemon. He was a genius, and one of his goals was to find a sustainable energy for all. Another researcher there was a woman named Myron Aronel. Later, she took on the name Lanfear, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. The one power has limitations. Only men can use Sidene, and only women can use Sidar. So researchers such as Bidemon and Myron dreamed of a source of power that would bypass those limitations. They and a team of researchers discovered a thin place in the pattern that covered a power that was different than the one power. This new energy did not appear to follow the conventional restrictions of the power, and that it gave indications of being usable by men and women equally. This discovery must have been very exciting for them. Unfortunately, they were not able to access it by means used for the one power. So instead, they used the one power to bore a small hole in the pattern to tap into the new power. And that proved to be a big mistake. An explosion shattered the floating Sharom at the research college and created ripples in the fabric of reality as shockwaves from the breach shook the pattern. It was not an indivisible source of the one power that the team had discovered. It was the Dark One's prison. So the emanations that Myron and the others had sensed with such hope were his dark energies. The world was at peace during the Age of Legends. As we said earlier, at this time, there were no wars, even the word for war was lost. But the boar changed everything. That leads us into the final section of this video, the collapse. The boar was not large enough to allow the Dark One to escape, but it was large enough to allow him to touch the world. His touch subtly altered everything that came within its influence. Emotions such as envy, greed, and anger and activities such as thievery, assault, murder, and even war. The world was not prepared to deal with these changes, and more importantly, most people didn't know why things were changing. Some people did begin to suspect why, and eventually, they found out about the boar. But unfortunately, most of the people who came to know the truth decided to join the Dark One for promises of personal gain. The Dark One offered favor and status above that which people could have otherwise achieved. Those who served him were given promises of immortality if the Dark One was freed. So normal people joined the Dark One. But even some Aes Sedai joined the Dark One. They are known as Dreadlords. During this time, brutal sports came briefly into vogue. One example are duels that involved the use of left hand and right hand daggers called Osengar and Arangar. And those daggers were tipped with a slow poison. Fun fact, much later in the story, Two of the Forsaken were given the names Osengar and Arangar. They were figurative daggers of the Dark One. The period of around 100 years after the drilling of the boar is known as the Collapse. But the Collapse was not the end, for there are neither beginnings nor endings to the turning of the Wheel of Time. But it was a beginning. Much more to come in future videos.